don't do that. <laughs> like, I was. Uh, it was a pretty funny trip with um, John. Say nothing. Uh, mm-hmm. He used to be the guy who didn't say anything on our show, uh-huh. and he got sick of saying nothing. So, <laughs> so you kicked him off. <laughs> he, he doesn't like coming on it as, yeah, as, yeah, as, it. to but, be fair he still doesn't say much on the show yeah yeah he's still yeah yeah he's still say nothing he's just not in the camera anymore oh fair enough he's just nothing no but uh we were we went to go see behemoth friday mm-hmm. at, with wolves of the throne of man at the gates and my brother and, yeah and your brother yep yeah, we we and it was dude it was just such a funny fucking trip there because let me see what it like so first, I, I, I'm picking up from his work in Elk Grove Village, which is like 10 miles from here. And, dude, I have been on, I just got this, I, I just downloaded like this 90s mix, mm-hmm. and I've been on an Alanis Morissette binge. Oh, Alanis Morissette. So fucking good, dude. A jagged, jagged Little, little Pill. Pill. Jagged yeah. Little Pill is an amazing album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then even after that, I love that song, Thank You. Mm-hmm. That's like, I, I don't know. I feel like a Buddhist girl. <laughs> I mean, it's great. But, um, so I'm I'm putting, I have this on the radio, and he fucking like, forcefully he's like he's like can you turn this off can you turn this he's, he's very he reminds me of like a very shy niles mm-hmm. from from fraser ah. uh, but, but he uh he, he um wait did you do something yeah i have a fraser shirt oh <laughs> <laughs> i'm a huge fan I, I, I need to get a home improvement shirt you Benford's. need to narrate what you do yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, but you could be taking up like sharpening a knife i would have no idea like this could yeah. be a plot to kill like Bill. niles <laughs> no. anyways um he um He's like, can you turn this off, please? Can you turn it? I, I had like, I don't know, one hand in my pocket on it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll put something else on it. And I just put on a different hit by her. <laughs> He's like, dude, what the fuck? And he turns my radio off. And then I put on, all right, I'll change it. And then I put on like a different album by her. <laughs> <laughs> so he ripped the USB cord. I, he's he's super not in touch with his feminine side. Uh-huh. So so he, he just keeps getting more and more mad. And then we uh we go, we go to the show and... We we were cold as fuck waiting, dude. My my hands, I I looked like I had some disorder because they cramped up oh. and I couldn't unlock them because it was so fucking cold by the lakefront. It was like one. Did, did, I think it snowed that day. That was the oh, first Jesus. day it snowed this year, and like, dude, we fucking um we get in and I I told he he the reason why I even took him he doesn't know any of the bands he thought we went to Slayer Farewell, uh, me, Bill, and John. Mm-hmm. And he's like, there's no way there's a pit that's crazier than this. And I'm like, we'll go to this show with us. Yeah. And that pussy stayed out of the fucking pit. Like, he went in for like two sh- uh, two times. But the two times he did, I could t- I could see that Alanis Morissette rage. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, turn that, turn that. But you know, the funny thing was that I went to go take a pee. Like, th- there's always something that happens when I, when I go out. And I didn't know the show was sold out. So... It took me like 20 minutes to get to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is going to take me an hour to get back in and not be that douche that's like, all right, I'm going to squish in here. Just mm-hmm. oil me up. And, you know, so I'm just like, dude, I don't fucking care about anybody here. I like this band. And I just start running, thinking I'm not. And uh, have you ever been to House? You've been to House Blues. Yeah. I didn't know that there's like a separate walkway and a railing for the bar. Mm-hmm. And that first row for the railing is like VIP reserved. Or Americans with Disabilities Reserve. Yeah, and I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. So I kind of like skanked, tried to yeah, jump move the wheelchair wheel. out of the way. No, no, I landed on someone with cerebral palsy on a wheelchair. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was so fucking bad. You owe somebody money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, shit, I got to get out of here. And I start running in the other way. And I ended up getting uh, in there. But I, I don't know. It was just... It was just a pretty funny night. Then, then the whole ride. <laughs> For back. Everyone but the person with yeah, yeah. policy. Then, then the then the whole night back. We were uh, me, me and John were arguing about how he thinks it's really. G- he's like, he's like, man, you listen to Alanis Morissette like you're on your period and you have a bunch of cats because I I normally have two cats, mm-hmm. but um, uh, Kelly, my fiance, she I'm like, you know, I got a fucking man cave here. She wants to foster cats. I, I'll put up with it, whatever the fuck it is. As long as she cleans the diarrhea from the table. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That's yeah. a fun story. Oh, God, no. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, no, yeah, so we ended up fostering four extra cats because they, I thought we were getting like one extra, but mm-hmm. I guess they're all siblings, so they have to go together uh, or they need some CBD man. or anesthetic to go over the depression of- oh, I fucking hate cats. So <laughs> I'm, a, I, I'm allergic and oh, all, almost sh- all of the cats in my life have destroyed my life. Oh. Like, oh. I used to live in the basement of a, a house um, a few years ago that I lived with my parents, and th- they kept the cats down there. And then my sister got these cats, and she still, to this day, refuses to admit that they were her cats. She said they were our cats. <laughs> no, they weren't. 
and these cats stayed in the basement with me and I like I routinely would wake up with two cats on my chest staring at me in the middle of the night and like, <laughs> I can't breathe because my nose is so stuffed up because I'm allergic to them and then everything I owned was covered in piss because they she didn't get them fixed oh man so they would go into heat one after another and then when they caterwauled they did not just go like oh, fuck me now they were like screaming at the top of the stairs is like Aah! for hours pissing on everything I own I'm, now I'm getting pissed off I'm, god damn it I hate cats no this is what you were talking about earlier you get passionate the I energy very, yeah. rises like sometimes I can I can like sit with a cat and like a cat comes to me and just sits on my lap I can pet it and like I'll deal with like getting a little like allergic to it you gotta set this nice up to, to not offend a cat lover okay yeah <laughs> I no. I, no. I have had multiple times in like my life where a cat like I just like vibed with the cat and was like, no, I like this cat. Yeah, yeah. Like I had an ex girlfriend who had a cat and her cat did not really like like going around other people. Stayed with her and like her parents and stuff. And this cat just once like came up and just sat on my lap and nice. she was like, he does not do that ever. And I'm like, so you, okay, so, right. so, so you had me some... and this guy are cool now. I'm like, I was cool with this cat, but like other cats, it's just like, nah. I'm yeah. allergic to them. They're gonna, Dude, it's, I, it's my, gonna fuck my, me up. My cats are chill as hell. I didn't know there were like these cunty cats until we did this fostering thing. Like mm-hmm. I was like, holy fuck, because these ones, yeah, it was um the the one of them. I've never heard. I, I want to record it to make some weird fucking music because I never heard <laughs> sounds like this. <laughs> yeah, no. Cats oh. make some weird fucking noises. Yeah. Like, it's not adorable little meows all the time. It's just like guttural demonic yeah, noises I, from dark corners of your home. I, I, I was playing uh, Xbox and I had like my external drive hooked up to, for like music and I thought it was having like a meltdown because it got a spring stuck on its uh-huh. paw. So I was like, like yeah. I'm like, what the f-? <laughs> And the funny thing was that later that night, um, I've been like exercising a shitload to try and get rid of anxiety. So I joined this gym and I didn't realize, like, that cat, nobody trims its claws because of how fucking cunty it is. So you could hear it, like, on the fucking, on the floor and shit. So I go to I go to, to this gym to, like, try it out the first day, and everyone's staring at me. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not, like, that bro with the tattoos. I kind of look like a homeless person who has a membership. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's why they're staring. And I didn't realize that um, it had, like, uh, like anchored itself into my shoulder every single night since it's came it, since it came so like all these scabs broke and i just had blood going down my shoulders through my shirt as i'm on this fucking elliptical and like yeah this guy is homeless <laughs> and he's getting <laughs> he's just bleeding like, no problem guys just stigmata <laughs> yeah. it happens it happens yeah. talk about the insanity workout just, uh, just yeah. bleeding oh my god getting yoked brother <laughs> <sighs> yeah it was it was so bad <laughs> that's fucked right. up no, I had um, those same cats. I had a party once uh, when I was like uh, in my early 20s in this house and like all my friends are in the basement and the cats are getting kind of anxious because it's most people they've ever been around. And one of the cats, uh, this black cat that my sister affectionately named Cat because mm. she's an asshole. Is it love short you. For, for Katerina? No, just Cat. Just the word Cat. Hey, Cat, get over here. And the cat walked up in front of my TV and just looked at me and all of my friends and then just lifted its tail and pissed on my Xbox. Yeah. And my oh, friends were like, this is the best thing we've ever seen. And I'm like, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Oh, I, man. Yeah, I, um, uh, we, we talked about it before, but I used to, like the past decade, I, I hung out with a really bad group of people. Mm-hmm. It was, it was uh, I guess they called it the murder shack or just the shack in Des Plaines. It was this, long story short, it was this kid who, his mom left him this whole house because mm-hmm. she got some boyfriend in California. And he, like, have you ever seen Gummo? Yes. He, it was Gummo there. Uh, it was fucking, like... Uh, it was uh, nice and it was dude, fun dude, and the, it was... I, I keep saying, the, fr- the first day I came there, there was a bag of fertilizer spilled on the dinner table. And ten years later, it's still there. People, people have OD'd and died there. It was, it was like, it was a shithole. And, and that, yeah, no, that's fucked up. And I, I remember that um, the guy, the owner, I think he had like seven cats when I came there, and he would just let them roam. And then eventually, it came to like ten or twelve from fucking. And then it went down to like eight again because I guess two of them got stuck in the wall and just died there, so they were rotting in the wall. 
I couldn't fucking believe this. Some people should not have (laughs) rights. Yeah, right. And it's them. That guy. That guy deserves nothing ever. Like that's when my like there's a small psychopathic part of my brain like uh, that like I think it's whatever ego or something in the brain that just like wants to destroy things you don't like. Yeah. And like. When I hear about people like that, that's what I'm like. So in this case, so in this up. case, is it the people or the cats? It's the people. Okay, <laughs> it's the people who are bad. And like, yeah. when I hear a story like that, and like this person's like, I'm comfortable living in this entire yeah. situation. It's like you don't, you have lost your rights as a citizen. Yeah, you can stay there. Fine, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to take anything else from you. But you don't get to vote. You don't get anything from us. You have you definitely need you your have, children taken away. You from have you. absconded yeah. your ability to be a part of society. Yeah. You're gone. And like the rest of my brain has to go. You just, you just don't do that. Don't be like that. But I just hate those people. To be fair, in their defense, I've been to some pretty fun parties there. Oh yeah, yeah. no, yes. I have partied in horrible shithole like holes in the wall, toilets don't work. Like you know, I said I've gone to punk shows. I know a lot of people <laughs> who no live more. in squalor, and it's yeah. like, do you know that there is a hole in your drywall and there's things moving in the drywall <laughs> while I'm taking a shit in your toilet with gray water, <laughs> and there's no toilet paper, and I like, oh man, I used to party in this house. Um, in Joliet, of all places, um, and they're uh, they had like fifteen bathrooms in this place, something like that. It was just an enormous old radio <laughs> no station. No bedrooms. That got turned into like an apartment complex, and it's just like this hole in the wall garbage place where my friends hung out. And I remember I was taking a shit in this bathroom upstairs once, and there was no toilet paper, and there was no one else upstairs, and there was like no cell phone reception. So I was like, "What am I gonna fucking do? I got shit all over my ass, a shit in this toilet, and I just found like a a child's." bib on the ground <laughs> and i don't know like none of the people i knew who lived there had children so i'm like fuck it and i wiped my ass with one side and like kind of folded it wiped my ass with the other and just hucked it out of the window and i'm like i am a garbage person i am become it's punk as fuck man <laughs> I, yeah it's punk as fuck but i have become the thing i hate yeah yeah it's like but i also don't want a dirty butt R- R- <laughs> Rob told us at, at at this house. I didn't even know this because it died by the time I came there. But uh, the the owner used to have a fucking like cockatoo or parrot that was like two feet huge, Jeez. but it fucking hated people, mm-hmm. and yeah, it would yeah. only be perched in the closet. So <laughs> when you went to the bathroom, like randomly. <laughs> Oh like, my god! So so even if you went there to piss, you would shit yourself either way. <laughs> like it, it was really loud. And yeah, no. The the other thing I thought was funny was I would um when I couldn't play when I couldn't find a place to practice with my band, we'd go there in their basement, and the basement was like hoarder pile. Ma- imagine trying to air vacuum clothes boxes shit into one thing and just lather them with slime. That's what the corner of the basement looked like. Uh. And because it was that, so the drums were set up there, and I'd always look at the drummer. Like and have this cute smile on my face, and he's like, "What? What, what the fuck? Are, are you? Are you like sending me signals? What's going on here?" And I and there was a bunny nest, so there'd be bunnies like hopping Aww. in and out of holes on this fucking pile. Aww, something adorable and all yeah. of the squalor <laughs> to feed the cats. That's what this song is about. In this slimy fucking basement, there's a bunny nest. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm I'm well familiar with horrible places to get fucked up in. Yeah. I um. Uh, I think it's time we take a little so. break. Oh, I was going to end the beginning. So, no, uh, I got John. No, no, it's not. All right. All right whatever. <laughs> no, that's what you No, no, I was, I was telling uh, John uh, th- that um, he started arguing with me after the pit about how he thinks I'm goofy that I have this many cats. I'm like, dude, well, do you ever plan on having a kid? He's like, yeah, probably one. I'm like, dude, his whole fucking life he's had like these really tedious aquariums, mm-hmm. those people that wash them every six hours. I'm like... Yeah, is that what you like? You can't take care of a fucking cat, and you want to have a kid. Is that what you plan? On, you plan having like a paralyzed kid that you sift some, you know, fish food in his mouth every six hours? Like, I don't know. Wait, hang on. I think I missed a step. What? What step? You were talking. You're on the way back from the show. Yeah. Oh, and and he was just it, making it, fun it of me. Tangented off in like nine directions. Oh shit! That entire time. Oh wow. So you and John are coming back from the show. Yeah. You're listening to Alanis Morissette. Yeah. He hates it. He hates it. And I keep busting his balls because normally he busts my balls. And, and I'm he was busting your balls about cats. And there, that's the end. He found the end. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So he was busting your balls about cats. Yeah. And then he wants to have kids. Yeah. And I'm Got like, it. dude, like, what the fuck? Like, 
you know, I mean, is that possible? Like you can tolerate uh, kids, but you can't tolerate pets? I don't know. Definitely. You think so? Yeah, dude. It's your species. You're also like naturally designed to love a kid. And they won't have diarrhea all over your dinner table. Well, <laughs> let's not go they that far. Will. They, they definitely will. And more will. places. The one thing I found out or from being someone will uncle, wipe their ass with their bed. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Um, but like when I was younger, like I knew kids were a handle and a hassle. Yeah. But like I didn't know the fucked up shit that happens as being a parent. And I am not a parent, thank fucking Christ. But I am not a parent. But like my brother had a kid when I was like about twenty, and I remember him like going like, "Yeah, it's it's difficult. It's weird. There's a lot of things nobody prepares you for." And like, oh, I think it was like two or three weeks in, he was like, "My daughter just projectile shit everywhere, and I have never been prepared to watch another human projectile shit yeah. like on my hand, over my hand, all over the floor, onto the wall, just happily projectile yeah. shit like a fucking squirt gun, just shooting shit out, and he's just like, I don't know what to do. No one has prepared me for this. <laughs> and like, that's the shit that I would just look at a person who's like, you want to have a kid? Are you yeah. prepared for another human to shit in your hand because you want them to just shit? Or to yeah. cry all evenings. Like, yeah. you hate your drunk friend who's crying because her <laughs> boyfriend broke up with her a week ago. You can't handle this thing that can't coherently give you the reason why it's upset. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna. You're not prepared for that. No one is prepared for that. You'll no. never be. You, ju- you just gotta adapt. Yeah, yeah. At least my dog. I understand. It's never gonna be able to tell me why it's upset, and sure. I can take it to someone who can figure that out. But like, I don't want a thing that's half me. Just. Yeah projectile shitting anywhere i projectile shit into a toilet on a daily basis yeah well, look at you <laughs> show off making the toilet just duking all over the place <laughs> i am not prepared to take care of another human yeah. that does that i rem- I remember the first t- like with my stepkid like uh when we, we got this house exactly a year ago and the something was fucked with the plumbing upstairs and he's going to the bathroom and i'm like so pumped because i got home from work we're gonna order chinese food and we're getting a shitload of egg rolls. And, dude, when kids shit, they eat nothing but fucking sugar. Yeah. So it smells like oh, radioactive. Awful. Their diet is shit. So this toilet is overflowing. And he's just walking across the house with shit down his leg, toilet plunger in his hand, and just naked. And, the, f- I mean, dude, I- I'm a first-time parent. What am I going to look at? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing naked? And I- I'm like, wow, that 10-year-old dick looks like an egg roll. I guess I can't eat today. <laughs> like, like that's all I got stamped in my fucking mind. You know? <laughs> like, is such, that is like a nightmare to me. Just like the idea of like a small human with shit everywhere, naked, just like a man. I don't know what to do. It's like I don't know what to do yeah. either. What do you want from me? I'm not as for this. as you can hear, the toilet overflowing yeah. in this. Oh my god, it was so bad. I've been in the moment where I've made a toilet overflow, and I am helpless. I'm just like, there's pee poo everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And then there's someone else who's relying on me. It's like, I'm not prepared for this either. Yeah. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Yeah, gotta go. Okay. All right. Cool. Take care of that yourself. I am not ready for this. <laughs> Don't do that.